Hi everyone. So March's double shot is a little bit different than I had um, had thought it would be. Things are a little bit different in the world, at least for those of us in the States, than um, we had thought March and April would be for the most part. So it's uh, a little bit more somber this month for sure. And I was thinking about like what are you know, m forms of music and, and decks that you might turn to when you don't necessarily feel that there's um, a positive end in sight anytime soon or you need to, like, really access a deeper part of yourself to, to in order to, like, move through a certain time. And so in those moments, you know, sometimes we really do want those decks that are, like, dark and, and, and push us and but then sometimes we also need like a sense of um, love and support. And so for this month, um, Line Strider Tarot is our double shot with Interpol. Uh, I'm going to give very specific Interpol songs for this though because I'm a huge Interpol fan as some of you might know. And so there will be other decks that are in alignment with other Interpol albums or songs. So I just want to say that. Um, but the Line Strider Tarot is a straight shooter. In fact, funnily enough, death is uh, the bottom card right now. What am I about to show you? Um, there's a very powerful sense of um, this connection with spirit animals, with shamanic, the shamanic energy of animals when we look at um, them out in nature, connecting with us, helping us to, um, you know, access those parts of ourself that may be related to survival or what we do with ourselves when we can't move about as freely as we would ideally like to. So there's a sense of spirit animal energy present in the line strider, but it isn't like an animal deck. Um, you still have an understanding and a connection to our humanity and what the marriage of those energies together looks like. And so line strider felt appropriate for me at this time for March's double shot because she's not dark. Um, she's not Tarot of Vampires. She is going to tell us something that we need to hear, but she's going to do it very gently and with compassion. And so this is why Line Strider is our double shot choice for the month of March. There's just something about the muted color tone and the the softness of, you know, the pen and ink drawing underneath that really helps me to get grounded and to feel connected to Source or however you look at Deity, at the Divine, to feel connected again. And so Line Strider pairs perfectly with an album and specifically two songs off of another album of Interpols for me. So the album itself is El Pintor. Um, and the feeling of this album, it's a very driving, like it's, 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 it's slow and steady as far as like, to me, the pace becomes more driving as you move through the album. And by the time you get to the other side of the album, you really feel like you've taken a journey. And the last song is called Twice As Hard, and I think you feel like you're not the same person as when you started with All The Rage back home. So you move through this cycle of, like, story in your life, experience, um, loss, a sense of being stuck, a sense of futility, which I think a lot of us can say we're experiencing right now. Um, and then you move almost into this water energy of the ocean and like where everything is kind of torn apart by the tidal wave that we reference as we move out to the end of the album. And there's also this aspect of the ancient ways, like what are we holding on to? What are we going to let go of? What even fucking matters in the end? Does anything matter? So this type of a feeling combined with the pace and the rhythm of the album as a whole doesn't create a sense of hopelessness. Instead, for me, it feels more like well, something is ending, but there's also something beginning because we're going to move into the next space, the next space. So this is the, again, the El Pintor album. And um, 
this one is one of my favorite albums by Interpol. It's one of the few albums I listen to as a whole at a solid go. Uh, all the way through chronologically. I tend to skip around with the other albums as far as like I don't listen to the song tracks in order necessarily. So this one though brings with it an intensity that has the awareness of age, the awareness of wisdom, of having moved through something, which I would say if I looked at the Line Strider Tarot on the Medicine Wheel, I would put her in the West. I would put her in that space that has more of a sense of an understanding that this too shall pass. And so what are we gleaning from this experience knowing that it's not going to stay the same forever? We're not going to be in this place always. This is for a time. So um, the other album that I want to reference is Interpol's album that's self-titled. Um, it's ca just called Interpol. Oops, I just started playing it. Um, there are two songs that I feel really strongly, I've uh, been listening to a lot at this time, but that I also feel like line up with the Line Strider Tarot. All of the Ways is one of those songs, and the other song is Memory Serves, and that's from Interpol's self-titled album. I actually don't have that on vinyl yet. It's on my to be added to at a certain point in time um, list. But both of those songs, really beautiful, and um, beautiful, but they're very haunting. <laughs> They're unsettling a little bit. Uh, it's There's definitely, again, endings referenced there. And um, like a culmination, looking back at things, um, especially in, um, hold on, I need to reference the name of the song, All of the Ways. I always want to call it a different song title. Especially in All of the Ways, there's this sense of a dynamic that's happening. And when you're participating in something that's really toxic, but you also know, you, you feel a sense of intensity there that you can't let go of. So there's something really fascinating about the pull in that song and the way that the, the music moves you through. This, what to me it feels like as the listener, is this really kind of old toxic dynamic that this couple can't let go of. And then memory serves as for me like a looking back, a, 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 like a, a looking back at everything and like what mattered. Like we can't go back to that place. I can't go back to that home. I can't go back to that energy. Like did any, did that matter? And I think at this time that's applicable. Um, but it's also applicable for the line strider because again, we've got that energy on the wheel of being in the Northwest quadrant. And like, what does that, what does it look like when you know that you have to be patient and how do you hold a space for yourself and others when you can't be active in that holding of space? So it's a receptive energy that we're talking about. And I think Interpol has, this, has a, a level of depth there if you choose to explore it that's really talking about um, like what matters underneath things. And, and the human experience, what are we pulling? What are we taking away from these moments? Like, what are we cataloging and why are we cataloging it? So this is March's Double Shot, Line Strider Tarot and Interpol's El Pinter album and Interpol's Interpol album with the two songs. Oh my God, I just forgot it again, guys. All of the ways and memory serves. All of the ways is like the hardest title for me to remember for some reason. I'll put links in the box, in the drop box below if you're interested in taking a look at any of these online. Uh, please know my thoughts are with you. I am sending you so much love and many blessings. I'll see you in the next video.